left is medial to lateral, lateral to medial glide. Then we've got patella femoral, so we're going to do those two right now. And then finally, we're going to finish up with the third joint, proximal tip fib. So here we go. Uh, let's just talk through this real quickly on Mr. Skeleton. So we're still at the tibial femoral joint. We're going to do just like we do with the elbow, with a varus and valgus tilt, and then a spring spring. So, if you remember, we cupped underneath the joint line with a contact hand, right at the joint line. This hand, the stabilization hand, was distal to the joint line. We added a pre-thrust stress, took out the slack, and then we gave a little spring spring. When I come in from the, this is actually the medial side, and go medial to lateral, is that varus or valgus stress? Varus. 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 So legs coming towards the midline, that's a varus stress. If I then switch to the other side, again, I have to shift my stabilization, come in with my contact hand, and then come in lateral to medial. Valgus. Valgus. Lateral to medial. This is actually, in this case, yeah, this is the lateral side coming towards me or laterally, actually. So that's a valgus stress. So let's do it on our patient. Here we go. So I'll work on the right side first. All right, so uh, tell me if you have any pain or discomfort. So I'm going to come in with a subaxial stabilization. My stabilization hand is below the joint. Here's her joint line. I'm going to cup it. Fingers are underneath nice and soft. She's at full extension. I'm going to flex it a little bit. Look at my forearms at 90 degrees. Take out the slack. Spring, spring. Does that bother at all? No. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to have to put the leg on the other side of my body. Come in with my stabilization distal to the joint. Cup it. Come at 90 degrees, flex it a little bit, take out the slack, spring, spring, anything there? No. Do it one more time, spring, spring. Notice that my hands are on opposite sides of the thigh, or the leg, spring, spring. I could do it with a intergenu stabilization. I'm going to traction your ankle with my knees here, so we can work on your knee joint. Same hand contacts. Distal to the joint, at the joint, take out the slack, spring, spring, anything there? No. Let's go the other way. Hands opposite, but offset. Take out the slack. Spring, spring. Anything there? No. Nope. So there's the Varus and Valgus. Say that again, please. Doing the joint line on the opposite side. Well, I, I can... No, because that hand's not on the joint line. I mean, I could try to put these fingers into the joint line as well. But really, it's a test for pain and joint resistance or joint looseness. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Let's go right into patella femoral. In this case, 